What is happening, budget builders, and welcome back to the channel. We are back with our 1976 Chrysler Town & Country. This is a 440 cubic inch big block powered car that we drug out of a field where it had been parked since 1991. We got it back and we got it running. And in today's video, myself, Pop Pop, Bell, me, and Charlie are going to wash the car inside outside and Thank you for his first drive. in nearly 32 years now jumping into the brakes we know the master cylinder is completely shot so we have a brand new one here i do want to go ahead and get it removed because what i like to do is go ahead and take those upper lines off and so we can as we're doing the brakes all the way around we can blow through and make sure everything is nice and clear brakes thankfully these rotors are in great shape well in the realm of speaking they're in really good shape calipers we're going to find out so one thing with calipers is they're normally sealed up much better than brake drums seem to be and they last a lot longer we're going to throw hoses because clearly those are junk we'll throw some new pads but we'll try to push some fluid through these and hopefully they'll work okay they may end up hanging up that's normally the issue you have once you start trying to use them they hang up a bit but let's give it a try With that rotor off nice and free so good bearings but pretty stiff and that tells me that grease is old and gross so let's go ahead and pull this front bearing apart and repack it so we know that we're safe and not going to burn up a wheel bearing Super, super nice, but doubt it would have been for super long. Now I'm gonna take and pop the inner bearing out. It'll pull out your dust seal there, which is super nice and pliable and still in good shape, but definitely wanna get that cleaned up too. Okay, so what we like to do here with the nut, you run it in till it's just barely snug, kick it off about an eighth, nice and smooth, nice and tight. Before we start pushing fluid, I'll go ahead and get this bleeder all cleaned up and make sure it's nice and clear. You can see a little trash in there and uh, we can stick our new hose on. I'll go ahead and blow through, verify our line is clear and we should be able to start bleeding some brakes. One side done. You been having fun over here? <laughs> <laughs> and dad's busy knocking this side out. While under here, we might as well go ahead and hit all of our grease points, specifically our ball joints here. We've got our tie rods. So what you gotta do, most of the time, these are so caked on, you give them a quick wire brush, or you can bite on them. Then I take a pick and free up. A little ball we can clip on our grease gun give it a few pumps of grease moving now to our rear brakes we've rolled this car around enough thankfully these guys come off pretty good and as you can see surprisingly not horrendous definitely sealed up 
in there really well. But as long as this thing sat, I am sure this wheel cylinder is got to be shot. Oh yeah. Not sure if you can see it down in there, but good and crusty. Wheel cylinders are normally 10 to $15 a piece. Cheap insurance to make sure we're safe. So let's go ahead and knock out these rear brakes. Yeah. Brake cable. And off with our wheel cylinder. Do it. Nothing. Thing cleaned up and wire brushed. Going back on, what I always like to do is take some grease and grease up your ride points. And this is gonna help prevent brake squeak. Perfect, thank you. Notice there's a lot of play. So we'll run it out. You have a light amount of drag, but you can still spin it freely. Hear it drag in there? And then that should get it pretty close. You could always spoon it just a little bit once you get it all together. But realistically, with it as snug as it is, it should be good. Any more adjustment, the self-adjuster will take care of. Basically, nobody could get this thing in a timely matter other than yours truly, Amazon. And it's an identical match, thankfully. So we'll get this thrown on here and then we can bleed the brakes and we will have them knocked out. How's that banana? <laughs> so, you gotta, you can finish your banana. You got a brake pedal now? Woo! Pump it up and hold it for me, please, sir. All right, go ahead. And again, and again, please. Perfect. How's your pedal feel? Oh, darn, nice. While the car's up in the air on jack stands, I do want to go ahead and see if we can't do something about this clip. I was just admiring the little bit of surface rust, just how clean the underneath of this car is that little bit of floor pan that we've seen but otherwise all up front every bit of it is just in killer shape it looks like it was undercoated and i think that probably saved so much of the underneath of this car Reverse, neutral, drive, second, first. I want the kids to be able to get back here, clean this back area so they can flip the seat up. But basically the only major rust on this car is this tailgate. And so we're gonna have to try to work with it some. And also to open and close this thing one way or the other, this window needs to go down. And this thing is just not happy. I don't know. It's going straight up in there. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> but I think some of it, we need to vacuum up all this rust and go ahead and pull this door panel so we can see if we can get the window down, if we can do anything with it. The problem is, you see, there's a little bit of rust on the floor. That's not a big deal. That's not even actually the floor. The floor's actually pretty solid. 
tire's leaking a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Just the pan there, not a big deal. We'll make something happen. I don't think I'll ever be able to find one of these. If you happen to have one and you're somewhere on the East Coast, let me know. But I think we're gonna have to make do with what we have here. And what we'll probably end up doing is just taking it off, taking pieces and making custom patch panels. I don't know. That's just kind of where that's gonna be. But let's see if we can at least get it functioning correctly to begin with. That's actually really bad shape. I was gonna say, it's not too bad. Holy moly. All the components look to be in super good shape. As far as everything else, it looks really good. I wonder if we can jump this motor out. But first, let me vacuum this rust up. This just needs to get out of the way. So here's your window motor. There's the plug for it. This is the electric door lock. Before anything can happen, I'm pretty sure the window has to go down. It all looks good, good-ish in there. I'm gonna try to jump it out. Let's see if we can drop it down. So what I'm actually gonna use here, and this is kind of a trick you can use in a junkyard. This is a little 18 volt drill battery get on the positive and negative here. And so you're also overpowering it just slightly, not where you're gonna hurt anything, but it, every now and then if these are kind of sticky, like on seat motors and stuff, this will actually help to uh, overpower them, I guess you could say. So what we're looking for here, we can go one way or the other, and one way's gonna be up, one way will be down. Oh, hey, the motor works good though. It sounds terrible. It's the dragon on top. He's <laughs> trying to help it a little bit. Bye. It does kind of solidify the tailgate though. <laughs> the window is the tailgate. So we can see here, that's no longer attached where it's supposed to be. I did figure out how to get it. We got everything freed up to where it unlatches, but now the whole thing's just trying to fall off. And that's no good. <laughs> so there's that. And it actually comes almost all the way out now. Latched. <laughs> Go back. <laughs> what the heck? It's half working. It's to what? What the? So it doesn't it doesn't fold all the way down, and it doesn't open all the way up. Wow, that's nice. <laughs> the gentleman that owned this car worked for the Department of Defense and drove this every day for a while. I guess to his local air base, I'm not sure. And so there's been, we found a lot of military uh, aircraft related stuff, which includes these lights. I'm gonna go ahead and get them out of here because I know the kids won't be able to handle them. These things are huge, old, and heavy all about. Oh my gosh. Oh. What the? These are bomb proof. This is to put like, I guess when they're practicing or something, or I'm not even sure, but these are bomb proof lights. That's what these cables are. They're extensions to run this thing super high. So we need to blow something up and we can use these lights on it. That's like door panel cardboard. <laughs> that's cool is that now i'm gonna let them mess with most of this i'm gonna vacuum it up a bit 
but I do want to pull this trim and I want to try to re-glue this headliner. Just so before we take it for its first spin, it doesn't completely tear down because the rest of it's eh, pretty good, you know? And if we can get this glued back in and get it looking good, I think it'll be nice. And I don't want them breathing insulation or anything. And so we want it all tucked back up and glued in good. Ooh, that's dry. Feels like a whole shebang. A little tiny. Now, not bad. Little bit of rust right at the rear, but everything else is super solid. This thing is literally a thousand degrees in here now that it's warm. So we gotta get these windows down. Obviously, none of the switches do anything. Plus these door panels need to come off because we can at least, the bottoms are decent. And I doubt we can find any of this for this car. So we will be revinyling the top and we'll probably just do a plain vinyl get a matching blue. I don't know. I might try to do something fancy with it, but we'll see. You guys did All right, hop down. Let's wash this thing. 32 years. You got it? You good? Oh, 32 years. <laughs> you got it. That's a long time. That's longer than da that's seven years longer than Daddy's been alive. Is that crazy or what? <laughs> Something too we're gonna attempt. I know a lot of people have mentioned taking all this off. As you can see, the car had been repainted at one point in time, and they actually painted brown over the original wood grain, which you can see bits and pieces of it here and there and what we're going to try to do because some of you have mentioned it is go ahead and peel this off which bell's already going to town with something she enjoys is picking so she is going to town all right hey you're gonna make it a mess that we can't get off we're gonna use a heat gun and try to peel it off and you see all that original really pretty paint under there but first yeah. guys first we need to wash it you ready yeah So I was going to start pressure washing this thing, but they are just too excited. They've got magic erasers, some brushes, some Toothbrush. towels. We're going to let them go crazy. Go ahead, guys. Hey, windows. Let's clean this window. Let's clean these windows. Yeah, these windows. I'll get we're cleaning. No, Oh, he's a Hold on. I need a good scrub. This is fun, right, Papa? I love it. Me too. Yeah, because I love working on There we go.
I'm not sure what's cleaner. <laughs> you guys or the car, but you did good, hey. Good job. We're definitely cleaner. Thank you. Woo! Good job, Bubba. Thank you. Good Ow! job, Mia. Thank you, guys. <laughs> Give you a really hard high five. Now, with it cleaned up, whether we want to put new wood grain down the side or not, this old stuff has to come off. We have pulled some trim. We've been kind of working with how to remove this stuff. This is gonna be a bit of a monster. What I've done for now is scribed very lightly up underneath and we're peeling off to the trim because so many of these clips keep breaking. I don't have new ones and I wanna be able to get it off for now. And then if we decide to do something, when we get new clips, we'll pull all the trim off and finish the little edges. And we can kind of see if we like the car with the original paint, because it is original paint under this, or if we want to go to put wood grain in it. But let's spend the next two days throwing heat at this, little bit at a time, peeling pieces off, and get the side pulled off of this thing. It is coming along. It's actually pretty satisfying heating up and peeling it. So you do it for 12 hours. And... <laughs> it is crazy, that original paint under there. I think Dad and I are gonna apply for some James Bond positions because we don't have fingerprints anymore. <laughs> I don't know about you, my fingers are, I mean, terrible. What? That thing's always been garbage, <laughs> hasn't it? Hasn't it? Piece of junk. I don't know. That two-tone is kind of cool. Obviously the blue there is the original paint. It would be neat if the car was all that same color, but then again, it would just be a big blue slab, which it is anyways. I don't know. It, it had to come off anyways if we wanted to put more wood grain on it. It is kind of, it is kind of a neat look though. But those steel wheels are ugly. So I had to test something out. And so we stole the back wheels off of the Comet. I don't know, that's pretty neat. Went ahead and cleaned and threw a kit in that old thermoquad. We'll put it back on there and see if it takes. You might remember 
that broken thing and I was like, I don't know where we're even gonna find one of those. Well, the kit came with one. That's why you can't find them because they just come with the kit. Anyways. <laughs> All right, you ready? Give it a pump. And fire her off. <laughs> Not bad. Brake pedal feels great. Slowly opening. I'm gonna throw it in gear. Uh, uh. There's reverse. Uh, the choke on the hot, hot. Yeah, I need to let it. Yeah. Let it finish idling down. Hey, it's got one. It's got one get, but one gear. <laughs> Drive it around backwards. Ah! Let's check the fluid before we do too much more, though. Taking a picture, what are you guys doing? All right, guys, look. Oh. This is the trunk of the car, right? Yes. You ready for this? Yeah. Oh, All right. No, hold on. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's not it. We did fix the door panel so they're not getting a bunch of stuff blowing in their face. Oh, wait, wait, there's more. Hold on, watch this. You ready? This is cool. So you do that. Look. Is that cool or what? But Whoa. wait, there's more. You ready? That's the coolest part. Look at that. Is that cool or yeah, what? I that was like oh, yeah, I thought that Let's clean it up so you guys can ride back here. Yeah. Bro! We got that is so cool. I know. Be, 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 That's why we be. got this car, because I want you guys to ride in the back. <laughs> Come on, let's clean it up. Now this grime is actually on really good, so I'm gonna have to use some antibacterial cleaner and a brush before wiping it down. There's a full grown six foot man. <laughs> I could ride back here and look at the seatbelts. No, that was definitely a kid riding back here. <laughs> <laughs> you guys ready to go ride? Yeah! yeah. Is this cool in mommy's van or what? Charlie? Um, a Wait, little bit. <laughs> yeah. All right, you're up front with us. Get buckled Charlie. in, guys. Forewarning this one right here is going to be doing all kinds of goofy stuff, but you guys ready or what? Ready? Yeah. Yeah. Let's do this. Yeah. The lights don't work. Are we actually driving this? Yes. Will it actually work? Yeah. We hope so. That's what we're about to find out, aren't we? Okay. Maybe not. <laughs> it's cold. What are you messing in, Isabel? It's on. Come on. There's three birds. Char, did you make that thing stall out? No. Here it, we go. It works. <laughs> Bye, mommy.
sideways. Okay. That was fun, huh? <laughs> Oh yeah, we're coming back. Trying. More for out of gas. Seems like it, but there's the carb running out of gas. Or it, did you hook up the fuel pump? I did, I thought. Oh. Is it running up above your head? Oh. It is not. Oh, we don't have hook it up here. Oh really? <laughs> We've been running on what's on the carburetor. Yep. Wow, how long have we not had fuel? I don't know. I disconnected that <laughs> before, so we didn't have to pick up the... All right. We well, got right. no gas. We're going to try with gas now, guys. Oh. It Ooh. seems to run. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you, wow. You didn't have gas? Wow, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> We're going down the road now. <laughs> It works! <laughs> oh, the tire rubs a little bit. <laughs> this thing's a boat, man! I feel like king of the road in this thing. Sit high. Brakes feel great, man. This thing is like. <laughs> pinky, look, 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 pinky. <laughs> Holy moly! Up down the head! Oh, God, I'm sorry! <laughs> but the car oh, kind of stinks. Really? The car kind of stinks. Okay. The car does kind of stink, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Clean them and off. All right, who's coming out? All right. <laughs> oh, this is this thing is nice. I mean, as far as not nice, but it's like driving wise. I mean, it's a it's just such a boat. <laughs> oh, this is awesome. Brakes are cooking. We're gonna have to do calipers, I'm afraid. Cooking? Yep. Cleaned off those rotors really good though. Was that fun or what? Fun! How was it in the back, guys? Good! That door is old. <laughs> it is old, isn't it? Thank you guys for helping me clean it up. Hey, thank you. Thank you! Howdy. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> well, there we go. Pulled out of that field after sitting for so long. That big 440 runs and this thing dries. Got the back seat flipped up, cleaned up, and the kids got to enjoy it too. And that was kind of the, the, the baseline for this was, I loved that it had that back seat and I'm glad that they got the opportunity to ride in the back of this thing. There's obviously quite a bit more to do. That water pump's screaming a little bit. We have to get the alternator back on there. 
I want to figure out wheels and tires because obviously these are borrowed off of the Comet. And we're going to have to do calipers up front because those are smoking and a lot of other dialing in. But it's such a fun car. Tell me what you think about the paint down the side. It obviously had to come off. I kind of dig it, especially with these style wheels. But wood grain would be cool. But let me know what you think down in the comments. And I really hope you all have enjoyed the rescue to this point. If you have and you enjoy this kind of stuff, be sure to hit the subscribe button notification bell to keep up with future uploads and rescues like these. And if you have been a part of the channel, we appreciate it so much. But that will wrap it up. Peace out and catch you all on the flip side. Bye.